minutes. We're at two o'clock in the morning and the elections are just going to keep coming in. Declarations. What are we expecting in the next hour? Bristol will announce their results. Cardiff will announce their results. <laughs> The biggest news we've had is that Gordon Brown has won his own constituency with absolute ease. 29,559 votes. I don't think it was ever in doubt, really, was it? Other big news for Labour uh, was that Sadiq Khan has won and held on in two in that. Well, what an hour it's been for the Conservatives. They've taken Battersea. It's a huge win for them. They've taken it with a swing of 6.5%. They only needed a 0 0.4%. What could be crucial news here, as we hear the Liberals have failed to gain Guildford, their number one target from the Tories. However, elsewhere, the Lib Dems are denying Tories crucial seats, and this makes Winchester an absolutely crucial target. the Democratic Unionist Party. Now, they've actually won a few seats. They've got Antrim North, Antrim East, Upper Ban and Lagan Valley. Sinn Féin, they've managed to take Balfour to West and West Tyrone. And for the social Thank you very much, Josh, for that fantastic stuff as ever, keeping the roundup, keeping you all up to I'm date. Right, We've got another outside broadcast for you. I think we're, this I'm one with I'm the, uh, the Mayor of Southampton, uh, Councillor Elizabeth Misen, um, who is also the returning officer. Um, how do you feel the proceedings have gone tonight? Do you think it's, it's all running smoothly? It seems to be running smoothly, fairly slowly, fairly quietly. There's a sort of moot atmosphere in the hall, but it's, I think it's, it's going well, methodically. Hi there, I'm here with Tom McCann, who's representing the Liberal Democrats for North West Hampshire. Um, Tom, in the last election back in 2005, Martin Todd, who's now representing the Lib Dems in Winchester, um, had a 3.7% surge, I believe it was, in his votes. Um, do you think you're going to be able to carry on that momentum and, and hold second place? Well, absolutely. We started off 18 months ago. Our target was to do exactly that thing. Uh, our now, as Kayleigh James has been down at the University of Winchester to find out whether the students will be using their voice in the general election. Conservative Labour, Conservative Labour, that they've been really guilty of ignoring young people. I don't think so much as the students being apathetic as parties just not engaging with young people. Really, with Romsey being a Liberal Democrat constituency for the past decade, we sent our reporters Joey Lipscomb, Josh Duffy and James Fraser to discover what the people of Romsey have to say in this election. <laughs> The Romsey constituency has been run by Liberal Democrat MP Sandra Gidley for 10 straight years. Its short political history dates back to 1983 when it was run by... 24,966 votes for Chris Hume, of course, of the Liberal Democrats. That earlier one... Uh, three gains so Labour far in the last few minutes. Uh, Labour have just held Bolton North East, because uh, I've very luckily got two men who do actually live in Eastleigh, so it's fantastic stuff. Paul. Great result for Chris Hume. Yeah, I mean, I expected uh, it still to be quite marginal. We've got 159 seats declared out of a possible 650. Labour are holding 72. The Conservatives are holding 60. And the Liberal Democrats are holding 8. It's a fun night. There's plenty more still to come. More turns than you could ever imagine here on the general election 2010. The South decides. <laughs>